Hi, this is Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures, and today in this video, I would like to share with you a website I just love. In fact, everyone in Boomer Tech Adventures uses it for a variety of purposes. We make Facebook posts, we create posters, uh, we create, um, let's see, what else do we create? Uh, notices. Anyway, it is a place that you can go and design just about anything you want. And the best thing is, it's free. Now, I have to warn you that in this video, uh, you will see that I have no restrictions. That is because I just upgraded to their more premium value uh, option, which means I've paid some money. Uh, however, for three or four years, I've used this website without uh, paying any money and was never feeling that I uh, couldn't do what I wanted to do. So let's get started. So when you open up canva.com, you will have to create an account. And that's just your, let's see, I think it's an email account and uh, a password. Don't forget to write your password down. And when you get to the main screen, you will see it says design anything. You can just do a search or you can look down here. Look at all of the different possibilities. Let me just click on social media. If you like to post to social media for personal reasons or perhaps you have a small business, they've got all the different kinds of social media posts you might want to uh, create. And what's very good about this is they know the dimensions so that when you create your post or your Facebook cover, it will look correct when you upload it. So that's a good thing. Uh, besides social media, they have events. So if you're in charge of an event at your church or for a community organization, you can, you can see, you can create invitations, posters, brochures. Again, the list is nearly endless. You can even create a ticket. What else? Well, there's marketing. So this would be for small business people. This would be terrific. Um, Instagram ads, Facebook ads, again, posters, logos, brochures, business cards. And you can see the list goes on. Now you will notice the first in the list is recommended. Those are items that you have already created, so they've got them up there to say, okay, look, you've used these before, are you gonna use them now? So let's get started. Uh, let's just click on tag. Now, I don't know about you, but every holiday season I say, okay, this year, I'm going to make my own tags. I'm going to personalize them. I'm going to make them very clever. I'm going to be creative. And of course, the holiday season rolls around and I get busy and I don't get it done. However, with Canva, I can create the tags now. So uh, when I clicked on tags, this is what shows up. On the right is a blank canvas and I can just put a background on and add all sorts of things. Or I can choose to use a template. Now you notice as I mouse over them, uh, most of them are free. You may get down to some that say they're not. Uh, and then again, you have to decide whether you want to pay the money or not. So those are the templates. Uploads. These are pictures you have used. Let me show you how this works. Uh, upload an image or video. Okay, so I'm going to click there. And what it gives me is an option to go to various places on my computer that I can choose a image to upload. Well, what shall I choose? Oh, I'm just gonna, we're gonna be willy nilly. I have no idea what this is. Let's see, screenshot. I would plan it out a little better.
All right, and you can see it's been uploaded here. And it's probably not one I'm going to use because as I look at it, I see it was of the Black Death in Europe. I was doing a piece on that. So let's let's try again. Let's get something a little more upbeat than the Black Death. All right, uh, I'm going to go into BTA, which stands for Boomer Tech Adventures. Ah, that's a movie. Let's see travel blog. All right. These are all JPEGs, which tell me they are um, images. So I'll click on that. And we see much better. It is the main coast. So that's how you upload. Uh, photos are photos that they offer and they're thinking about it so we'll go okay there are some photos now these are not photos i've taken these are free photos that you can use elements all right so again you can see what you've recently used they've got some featured ones they've got grids shapes frames stickers lines all sorts of different elements you can put in or you can simply type in what you're looking for so I'm going to just type in Santa's and it's a little slow today and that's not Canva I think that's my my internet connection there we go and so once again i have all these options another thing i can put in is text and you can see i can uh, choose like add it you see it's different size add a subheading add a little bit of text and then they've got different uh, colorful ways of adding text. When you do add a text, so you see that's highlighted, I can go up here, I can change the size, I can change the color, I can make it bold, italic, underline, I can change the way that it's formatted, so right now it's centered, uh, but I could make it so that it's uh, on the left or the right. I can add uh, capitals, uppercase, lowercase, I can add bullets, there's just also, what are the effects? Ah, I can add some different effects. Okay, so you see you have a lot of things you can do. So let's go back, we've looked at, uh, oh, background, you can just do colors, Or I might do want to do something that's abstract. Just a lot of possibilities. All right. So let's go back to templates. And I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to replace my current page. All right. So holiday, a holiday tag. Well, I kind of like that, kind of the swag. And so, but I'm not uh, sending anything to Angela. So I simply highlight it whoop, and write it to who it's from. And I'm not Ethan, so I'm going to highlight that. You notice as soon as I clicked in the box, the text box came up. G-A-J, that stands for Great Annie Jill. Um, I think it needs uh, a little bit more. This looks a little um, looks a little bare. So I'm going to go to Elements, and I'm still on Santa. So I've clicked on this one, and whoops, come back. There he is. And you notice I can make him any size I want. And I can put him right up there. Whoop, yep. 
Uh, do I want to add anything else? Oh, maybe a reindeer. What do you think? All right. I kind of like this one. And um, I think maybe I need more than one. So I'm simply going on my P keyboard to copy. And then I'm going to um, paste. And I'm going to move it I think like that. Oops, he's a little too high. Anyway, you get the point. You can play around. You can add uh, different backgrounds. You can add text. You can uh, upload pictures. Well, so now what? Well, if I am done, I want to download this. So I go up here and you see the arrow pointing down. So I'm going to do that. And they make a suggestion that this should be a PDF. OK. So I'm going to download it. They're preparing my design. You saved your time. Do I want to go back to my home page? Nope. OK, so where am I going to save this? Uh, I'll save it there. This is just going to be Christmas tag. So I've saved it. All right. I'm going to close that. And I'll show you. And I'm just going to hide Canva. And I'm going to go to my computer and show you where it is. And I think I saved that in many courses. There we go. And Christmas tag. And there it is. So I can print it off and I can Cut it up. I could print it on um, instead of just flimsy paper. I could use cardstock. It's really a very cool website that you really ought to check out. Let me go back to it one more time. Canva. And I'll just show you. I'm not going to go through the whole process, but let's suppose I wanted to do. Facebook page post. Okay, the same sort of thing comes up. But what I want to show you is that you can use, so for example, if you were doing something about COVID, they have posts already created. So you can use this as is. You can post this to Facebook or you can change it. Uh, but that's really cool. So if Halloween is coming up. Well, you probably aren't going to join the Radcliffe's, but you could put your own name there and you can put your own address there. So there are lots and lots of possibilities. So if you've never been to Canva, again, it's free. If you enjoy creating things, even if you are lacking any artistic talent like I am, you can create a really cool project and feel like you're a graphic designer. Thanks for stopping by. Please uh, consider looking at Canva. And if you have never liked us on uh, Facebook, and by us I mean Boomer Tech Adventures, check out our, our Facebook page. And lastly, if you like to learn through video, please check out and subscribe to Boomer Tech Adventures YouTube channel. Bye for now.